interesting. <laughs> Sorry. My name is Dieter Frühjauf. Uh, you can find me as well on Instagram. So, on the name K of R, I will not uh, say what does it mean. You should find it out by yourself. Uh, I'm living in Mainz since 25, 30 years. Uh, and I'm doing painting since childhood. Uh, I'm working at Frankfurt Airport and uh, painting and working are both sides I do like. Sometimes I'm describing me as a kind of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde because um, on one hand I'm uh, in professional I'm working at Frankfurt Airport that's a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is a painter so <laughs> and this uh, since I'm painting this since childhood um, and this is for example uh, also the reasoning why I'm using such different kind of materials because in my childhood a bit older um, material colors it was kind of expensive and um, I still remember on the my major story when I was six years old and when you as a child you would become to school there was a, I would say a set of pieces you get yeah and one piece was a block of white paper um, so within one afternoon it was full with colors uh, and my parents and my grandmother they were a bit shocked about that because it was planned for the whole school year and during that time in the 60s it was very expensive beginning with that they decided okay the boy would like he loved to paint we have to organize for him other kind of materials and that's the reasoning why I'm doing uh, things uh, um, with material and it's not only material for me it's telling a story as well and um, if painting is as well something like storytelling, I try to combine different kind of stories over time. Yeah, that's a very good, very good question. Um, at the beginning I was coming, or I still do not know, do I come more from color or do I come more from forms? Or do I come from the combination? Um, at the beginning uh, of my career, I was just really often painting nature and architecture. Uh, I do not know why. Um, I suppose from my perspective, architecture is followed by nature. And that's what I'm uh, focused within the last five, six years when you dance, for example, or dancing is, from my perspective, creation. It's, a, I would say, a kind of human architecture. Um, you create a form, or you create not one form. Uh, during a choreography, sometimes I'm going crazy because of the different kind of forms, yeah? And uh, because as a painter, I'm just always <laughs> two-dimensional. <laughs> so, uh, what, uh, to come back to your question, I guess nature, architecture and human is combining and creation of forms and I try to pick it up and to, uh, it's like a kind of 
hunting and collecting as well. Yeah, I'm try to hunt and to collect the special sequence. Yeah, how do I feel that? Uh, I I suppose it's on one hand it's different worlds, but on the other hand, um, sometimes I uh, I would say or I told you I'm dance with you with my fingers a little bit. Yeah, I cannot move with my body uh, in the same quality or in the same manner and uh, cannot express. But sometimes uh, with the, and, and music is a bridge for me, absolutely, uh, within that. And I really love to, to develop or to explore what you are doing during dancing. And um, that's the reasoning why I'm, what I mentioned with this blind painting. Yeah? At the beginning it was a challenge uh, within that, um, but I still know my. I'm just looking to you, and my fingers are dancing then and going. Sometimes uh, my feet go with a with a rhythm uh, during the performance, depending on the music. For example, I'm taking just small soft pastels, and um, you may think, how do you decide uh, red, blue, and so on? I'm doing this with a size. I'm, for example, I take a small one for white, a large one for red. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have it then in my fingers and I say, okay, now they are doing, because I am just try to connect what you are doing during your choreography, during your dance, and then I'm doing this blind painting. And it's the most amazing moment for me afterwards, uh, because, or my wife, she said, what have you done? Please show it, yeah. <laughs> and um, then I'm saying, ah, it looks interesting. When I see you, depending on what you are doing, yeah. For example, when you perform a creation, um, there is, from my perspective, some some pieces or some moves are in a fluid form, and others are, yeah, coming to the point. Yeah, right. so um, and that's uh, what uh, what the fascination is for me, and that's the reason why I have such uh, this bunch of uh, different kind of uh, forms and colors, where I'm using as well as you can see here. Uh, I'm working very often then with coal, yeah, and then so that's the way. What do I want to share? Um, I guess um, if I may share with my arts um, that people will have uh, as well uh, a reflection or uh, a memory what they have seen before, especially when I try to do now these arts with dance or dancing. Um, I really love when, when I receives the feedback, ah, I can see the move, yeah, and, uh, and then I'm happy, because um, I received this, uh, for example, for some pieces from people where I know they were sitting in, in London or in Hamburg and haven't, haven't seen anything from that, but uh, that's what I love, yeah, and that's uh, the reasoning why I'm doing that, and as well, um, when I receive the feedback from yours, that you see you what you did, because um, that's uh, amazing. I'm often thinking, what do they think during the dance, yeah? And what, how do they do the process? And um, so, when I can um, bring this and freeze it for a second or for a moment, that's, that's my aim. Yeah. I guess what I have learned from that watching, 
that you are creating forms. Uh, and that's amazing. I never thought that uh, at the beginning, because uh, at the beginning when my wife gave me, or uh, asked me, why do you not paint the, the girls? Yeah? And I said, what? They are moving. How should I paint them? Uh, and that was a challenge, was a question. Um, I love it. <laughs> so. <laughs>